Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Kevin and welcome to the channel. This is the first episode of hopefully what I hope to be many. Uh, today we're going to touch on a game plan we have for a road trip tomorrow uh, from Los Angeles, uh, specifically the Valley area for anyone who knows the Los Angeles area, to San Diego, California to pick up a 2006 Buick LaCrosse uh, with a 3.8 liter V6. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's actually something I'm buying to uh, start the channel. So a little background on that. I, I own the Buick. I bought the Buick uh, that I had before. It was a 2000 uh, La Sabre Limited, uh, again with the same engine, the, the 3.8 liter. And uh, I bought it because as I watched videos on YouTube, I kind of found uh, a lot of information out on it. Specifically, uh, the car wizard put some information out there, and then you had Hoovy who bought uh, a Buick. Pretty much everyone, uh, auto auctions, rebuilds. So <clears throat> over the time, I kind of saw that being a reliable car. So I bought one, and it, it indeed was a reliable car. I had it for about six months, drove it every day. I, dr I live about 34 miles away from, from where I work, uh, and I use it as a daily commuter until I sold it. Um, so now it's time to, to get another one and, and add it to the stable. This time I'm hoping to bring you guys along with me. What we have here is a 2004 GMC Yukon XL. Uh, I bought this in early, or actually late 2021. Yeah, late 2021. It, uh, it had 152,000 miles on it and it was a uh, bought from a guy who was a pretty much a flipper. I, I, I found out relatively quickly that uh, he was just a guy who bought and flipped cars. So it did not look this good when, uh, when I first bought it. I definitely took my time and brought the car back to life. Uh, there really are no modifications to it except for my license plate. And uh, as you can see, the dual exhaust, uh, I, I do have Flowmasters on it. And, uh, and I did that just to, to add some sound to it. I do think it also, wakes the engine up a little bit uh the you know the great great engines right i think all of us know that probably probably the last great uh gm large suv that was ever made uh well i say that as i'm thinking about the brand new escalade but that's definitely not uh in the same category of this conversation so with that being said this one was purchased late 2021 uh it had faded paint all throughout the hood the 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 roof of the vehicle, side panels. Uh, so that was that was all corrected. I, I got a really good deal on the car. Of course, the guy said it was a, a perfect running driver. It wasn't. So <laughs> so anyways, I was able to negotiate a good deal. I got the, the car for or the, the SUV for $3,200 out the door and uh, put about $800 in uh, paint work on the car. So that was great. It, the car definitely woke up after that. The engine actually wasn't bad. The engine's great, actually. Uh, you know, the engine itself. I did a tune-up to it. Uh, the air conditioning wasn't working. Uh, ended up being a, a very small uh, switch, control switch, which I can't remember the name of it right now, but anyone who owns this, these cars knows exactly what I'm referring to. Um, so I replaced that, and that came back to life. I do live in the valley of Los Angeles, so it does get quite hot out here. So that was done and uh, and tinted the windows and four new tires. Obviously I wanted reliability, so we did get the four new tires, nothing fancy. I think I went to, you know, a, a, a you know, affordable tire spot and uh, got these um, Forest Land, Forest Land, who knows where those are, right? But they actually have been really good tires. And I already put about 12,000 miles on this car. Um, and again, it's pretty much been between uh, this and another car between my wife and I, a daily driver. The lights were shot, the headlights, so I did get uh, replacement headlights instead of getting those repaired. I have all of the original parts, but uh, you know, I decided to, to take that, that approach instead, and it was you know, very easy to do. Uh, a lot of stuff done on the interior of the car. Uh, when you open it up here, uh, the seat cushion was completely deteriorated inside. So when you would get in, you would sink down and that doesn't feel good. So I replaced the cushion myself. Uh, again, I'm not a mechanic, by the way. 
definitely not a mechanic, but I, I've been having fun working on this car and it's something new to me that I've been doing as far as wrenching on my own cars and doing little things here and there, nothing major, but I've been having fun doing it. So I got the cushion replaced, or I, I replaced the cushion. I shouldn't say I got the cushion replaced. The headliner I also did, if you'll see, the headliner is sagging there, but there's a quick fix for that. And it actually does last quite a while. You apply your hand there and it actually lasts for a couple days or so who knows um but i'll get back to doing that it, it is what it is uh, i was definitely learning as you could tell definitely definitely not a pro at that but i'm gonna be honest with you guys about everything i'm doing so so but the interior actually super super nice super comfortable uh it did not look that clean when i got it um I did have it detailed and it really came back to life. And I would say I'm not embarrassed of driving it at all now. Actually, it's super clean and uh, it did not look this clean when I first got it. So, so yeah, it's great. And uh, there's still little imperfections. I actually didn't get the roof of the, of the car repainted. I kind of opted to not do that because uh, it just it was gonna cost too much money for what I was trying to do with it. So this is kind of like a, an example. The reason I'm showing you this is because it's an example of what I'm gonna be doing with the Buick. The Buick we're buying tomorrow only has 90, I'm sorry, 69,000 miles, original miles. Um, this guy is definitely a car flipper again. You know, in LA, when you buy a used car, a lot of times you're buying a, uh, a car uh, off of a guy who's just flipping them. It's kind of the name of the game. Very rare do you find someone who actually owns the car and uh, and is doing it that way. But that's okay. You just got to know what to look for. Take a look at the engine here. It is not clean at the moment. I wasn't really uh, thinking about showing you guys all of this. But that right there was what needed to be replaced to get the AC uh, woken back up. And, uh, and, and that's it, honestly. It does a great job. I never replaced the battery, Inter interstate battery. It still goes, no problemo. Uh, I did have to have the um, power steering pump replaced. And uh, anyone who knows about the power steering pump on these, when they fail, the only the other thing that fails with it are your brakes. They stop working. So I, uh, I had my car moved at work and I was called and notified that something was broken and it was my power steering pump. So I had to get it towed and get that dealt with. So, <clears throat> so that's that guys. I am going to pick the money up from the bank right now. Um, and I will pop in with you guys right before I uh, go ahead and put the phone down for the rest of the night. And then we're gonna see each other in the morning. We are, um, commuting as i mentioned from los angeles to san diego and that's where the car is and the fun part is we're only going to have that car to make it back so this isn't like an extreme um you know barn fine drive at home but it's going to be fun you know Let, let's let's see how it goes all right thanks guys peace all right guys so took care of that cash run there you know what i was sitting in my car talking to the to the camera for so long i realized i gotta really cut the stuff short so i got the cash i'm gonna go over the amount with you guys later on uh probably when we're driving up tomorrow so again i picked up the money today at the bank uh because we're leaving early tomorrow morning to pick the car up uh we're gonna take a quick drive we're actually gonna rent a car in the morning here in los angeles because the car is uh in san diego so it's about you know and it probably about a two and a half hour drive and uh make it easy we can make it a family thing rent a car get the car the the buick over there and uh return the rent a car and then drive the buick back and also it'll be fun because hopefully it works right all right guys see you later peace